So our second letter, dear sisters, I have been struggling for love for the past three years. Last year in July, I met a very nice gentleman who swept me off my feet. We started talking and got to know each other and both of us discovered we are fond of each other. We are very open and truthful to ourselves and I couldn't believe that I got lucky after three years with the best man I could ever ask for. My boyfriend and I have been dating since September 2023 and I must confess it's been a beautiful ride so far. I haven't met any member of his family yet, although he has met my sister and best friend. My boyfriend has a particular uncle he speaks so highly of whom I haven't met yet, but I already like to say the least. This uncle, okay, this uncle took care of him and trained him through all the levels of education there is to have. He literally is his father. Sisters, I had the shock of my last I had the shock of my life last weekend as I scrolled through my boyfriend's status on his uncle's birthday. What did I see? I saw a man I dated five years ago when I was just about completing my university education. What? I exclaimed so loudly and my body began to shake. This cannot be true. My boyfriend is scheduled to meet my family for an introduction next week, Saturday. This is the best thing that has happened to me in the longest time and I cannot lose him. Sisters, I'm so confused. Should I tell him the truth about his uncle and I or turn a blind eye to what I have seen? I really need help, sisters. This is the true love of my life and I want to get married to this angel. How should I approach this? Sisters, please help me. Definitely don't build your marriage on the foundation of lies. Mm -hmm. um, and especially because it has to do with family. This is, is, is your fiance's uncle mm -hmm. that you were in a relationship with mm -hmm. five years ago. And you can't take your fiancé away from family. There's nothing you can do about it. I think that before you say I do, he needs to know. And you owe him that, um, what do you call it, right mm -hmm. to be able to decide, okay, this is what you did in the past. I don't care, but I love you for you. I still want to marry you. I still want to be with you. So if you go ahead and not tell him, it will be very selfish of you. I'm going to call a spade a spade. What do you want to do? Not tell him your uncle is going to end up telling him or your uncle is going to come in between and then your uncle is probably going to say, okay, I'm going to blackmail you. How about your uncle? Was, his, his uncle is going to say, okay, let's have sex. If you don't have sex with me, you uh, know. Yeah, I'll tell him, yeah. You don't want all of that wahala around you, especially when you're going to embark on a very important Sensation. journey such as marriage do not build any relationship whatsoever on lies and then omission of information information is very important once you decide oh maybe i'm not going to tell maybe you know mm -hmm. let them find out no 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 so honey bunny come clean let your fiance know especially because you know the thing that bores me a lot is the fact that you love somebody mm -hmm. but you do not want to share your problems with them a problem shared yeah. is a problem half yeah. solved yeah. it means yeah. that you don't trust them enough. or you don't even trust their decision yeah. enough allow them give them an opportunity to decide that is love right that is love. Right. if they love you for you they will be with you if yeah. they don't so you know true. you pick up your pieces mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. move on mm -hmm. and and can i say people do not really open up like that because of the judgment they might get Sooner or later, with this, is marriage is family. Mm -hmm. You can't split it. Yeah, right. You can't because it's two families coming together to make it work. You're going to have an outdoor in. Mm -hmm. You're, even the marriage itself, uncle is going to be there. Yeah. There's no way you can take one away from the other. They're one and the same. And especially because it has to do with family, sweetheart. Right. Just come clean. Right. Felicia. Yeah, I think there's no way around this situation. And I agree 100% with Olivia. Yes, there's going to be judgment. There's going to be regret. There's going to be hurt. 
a lot of emotions will be all over the place. But if this, if you love this guy so much as you are saying, you and need to love you. And he loves you too. <laughs> you need to gift him with the truth. See it as a gift, right? See it as a special gift you are giving him. And allow him time to process and do what he wants to do with the information you've given him. Be as blunt as you can be. Be as honest as you can be. And give him every information he needs. Not all the information, no. The ones he needs to make the decision. The necessary ones for Don't him. overshare because mm -hmm. there's one thing about men that we fail to uh, acknowledge. Mm -hmm. These, those people, they don't forget to. <laughs> <laughs> Men no, don't forget. You know, it's not about men don't forget it. Do you forget? Exactly. Well, human, human beings, beings don't forget. <laughs> but you know, we, don't forget so. we, we, we don't forget. But you know, we have a way of attacking the opposite sex, se uh, sex w w with, our, um, with their, um, how do you call it, these stories and make them feel bad. But we, 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 we can also get away with it. Like we have a way of, I don't know how to put it, but I will tease you tease with, it. Them with it. I will talk about it, but it doesn't take away from what we have yeah. mm -hmm. or how I feel about you. But these ones, they are different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It affects how they feel about you. Mm -hmm. Regardless of how much they try to cover it up, cover it up mm -hmm. push down that emotion, it erupts. You, they will start right misbehaving, there. and before you say Jack, they will use that as an excuse for that, their misbehavior. Hmm. So we also have to be careful the kind of information we give them. Not to say hide it, but he needs everything he needs to make, make a decision. I dated your uncle. For how long? What was the relationship like? That's what it is there. How many times do you have sex? Exactly, 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 exactly. He was, but it's not, it's not a uh, topic for discussion. Well, well, you you don't remember. Do you remember? You don't remember. Don't remember. Yes, yes, I, you I don't remember. It could be one. You've lost count. <laughs> or you could reduce the number. Like, let's be real. I'm just saying that they are not built for the kind of information we can hold. Right. Bottom line. But I know they will fight me. They won't agree with me, but it's a fact that they, we all know. Mm -hmm. So please, let's give him, tell him the truth. That I stand with 100%. Right. Give him every detail he needs to make a decision. Well, but the unimportant ones. The number of times. Well, okay. Not just that. This will let me ask, ask you what position you <laughs> gave this and Nobody's going to be asking that question. So <laughs> let's move over to Sisho. Sisho. Hey, so what's your I have good ways. Oh no, this please! Gender, you, I, you don't underestimate <laughs> them. <laughs> See, sure. Now it's been five years. She dated the uncle, and she's a woman. The uncle is a man. What's the biggie in this issue right now? Yeah, you know, um, frankly, there isn't a lot of problem here, mm -hmm. but for the fact that she she needs to tell the truth, like both of my sisters have said, that's the only best way to deal with this. But here's how I would have dealt with it, even though I'm still going to tell the truth. Yes, you've seen the status. Yes, you've, you know this man. So you can probably go ahead and ask, is this your uncle that you've been talking about all this while? Wow, I know him. I've been with him before. But the thing is, the thing about telling someone such heavy-handed information is to tamper it with as much softness and empathy as you can. Mm -hmm. Mind you, if an information like this is going to be shared with you, you would want it to come in the most softest and loving way possible so that it doesn't hit mm. hard ground. Okay. Yes, I dated your uncle. Oh, damn, I know I did. This is someone you love that you are talking to. So you need to come from yeah. a place of um, remorse, one. Mm -hmm. Love, two. Remorse, why? Hey. Remorse, remorse as in he's his uncle. So he is, is he he's a man? He's He's a married man. He so now that be. is going to paint you as someone who dates married men. In as much as it's, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and talk about whether it's wrong or good. The point is, that is not how society sees some of mm -hmm, these things. Mm -hmm. And that's, not, that's one way this guy is likely to judge you. Yeah, so you so want to you. break the news in the softest way possible. Maybe you can ask him to come over. You sit down. You remind him of how much you love him and how much you are totally looking forward to spending the rest of your life with this person. But you have something to tell him. And you hope that the love that, that both of you share is strong enough to handle this information. But should... And then you I, drop it. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Should... Um, 
your past relationship mm -hmm. affect what you have now? Look, it look it personally, personally, it depends on who it is you had that past relationship with. I will not sit here and sit on my high horse and say there are people that if I know that they've dated a particular kind of person, I will not be worried moving forward with them. Mm. You know? Like mm. let's say for example, if you are dating a divorcee, what's the what happened between mm -hmm. you and your wife that you guys got divorced? Where did you th where did you go wrong? Mm -hmm. Now, if a man tells me he never went wrong in that marriage, I will I will see you in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Are you a narcissist? Mm -hmm. Why did it, why was it that you did everything it's perfect by fault. the book? Yeah. It's not your fault. Everything is the woman's fault. I will ha I will I will look at I will, I will look take at everything else you tell me with a pinch of salt moving forward. Mm -hmm. You know, and it it will affect my decision whether to move forward entirely or to you know retrogress. Mm -hmm. So it is important that and you never know what matters to someone. It is as important as some, for some people, but the mere fact that you're, you're not willing to change your religion to join their religion, is, is, yes, it, yeah. may end, it may end a relationship. Yeah. So you don't know what matters to this person. For all you know, his uncle is his world. And the fact that you've dated his uncle, knowing very well that probably his uncle was married, is a big deal to him. But you still need to do your due diligence. Do, do right by this person because you love him. And you expect that he loves you as much. And hopefully the love they share should stand the test of such things because... Moving forward, a lot of other things are going to test your, both of you, your relationship, even as a couple, if you get married. And this is, this is a make or break for you because then if he knows that you can trust him enough with such a huge information, when this marriage starts off, it means you guys are starting off on a, a much more solid rock than if the lie is hanging there and lingering in the background. So I think it places, it, it gives her a good opportunity to, to um, share mm. this information. Another thing too is, if you share this information in, an, in an, um, the most empathetic way possible, the most loving and kind way possible, and this man goes and give him time to actually process it all. It may not happen overnight. He may not just sit there and tell you, okay, I want to go ahead. He may want to talk to his uncle. He may need time to think about it and Similar, sit with yeah. it for a while. Give him all that time. But in all that process, be as kind, as gentle, as loving, as mindful, and put yourself in his shoes as well while all this is happening. Another thing opportunity presents to you is it will tell you, does this man genuinely like Love you? Me or not. Yeah. Because sometimes when you are, you are with someone and nothing has tested that relationship, you think everything it is, is perfect. Fine. Allow tests. Mm -hmm. to come into relationships whether it's friendship whether it's business whether it's whatever allow certain tests to take over the relationship and see how people truly feel about you yeah. you'd be amazed even with some of your closest friends little things mm. will break the two of you apart because then it tells mm -hmm. you that mm, this person all along wasn't for me Why? look let me tell you a very mm -hmm. good a very good example um, um i've produced a film ever mm -hmm. and i have friends who have texted on the side and said oh Sitro, i really like what you've done i really appreciate it how can i help you a very good friend of mine in the industry nashako i remember when i and you know one thing i've realized i'm i'm talking about this now because i've realized a lot of people don't talk about the good people i've done for them mm -hmm. if it's bad they will talk about mm -hmm. it that's why i'm talking about this now because the opportunity has presented itself for us to see sometimes the good side and also the bad side and then she says to me, she's an, she's an actress as well. She could easily sit on her high horse or sit in her corner and say, hey, you are doing your thing. You decide, okay, go ahead with it. But she calls me on the side and says, Sitcha, what do you need? What can I help with? And I said, listen, I'm, I'm struggling with A, B, C. She said, mm, okay, you know what, I'll make some calls. And she makes some calls. There was Verna Water decided to help us with water. On my entire set, Verna Water gave us like 50 packs of water and drinks. Just by one person who is a fellow actor who could have easily sat there and said, This is a competition, this is somebody who's trying to compete with me. I'm an yeah, actress as well. Yeah. She makes another call. Next thing I know, Papa Spitzer is sponsoring us for five days. Look, there are good people. Sometimes you just need to also know how to approach things. Now, this same group of friends, there are friends who have never posted a single poster mm -hmm. of my thing. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the thing with human behavior is, it gives you an opportunity to sit back and see everyone for who they mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. And then now you decide how to go forward with these people. Mm -hmm. So this opportunity is presented to her. She should take it as a, an opportunity, a process that if she goes through and it works, bingo. If it doesn't work, it just tells it her that there are, yeah. yes. Right, right, right. I think this, I think you, you guys have said everything. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's not going to be easy for her. Though. Yeah. But she, won't. And she also needs to get ready for whatever the reaction or yeah, the decision yeah. will be. 
Yeah. But on that note, okay. Can I add this? I yeah. think she also needs to talk to the uncle. Yeah. We yes. need to have a conversation. Yeah. Because we are only looking at the side of the guy. Mm -hmm. What if the guy says, okay, I understand this. Let's move on. And the uncle says, this, is really, this marriage is not happening. Mm -hmm. Because of something he felt, the hurt he felt in the relationship with this guy or something, girl, or something that happened between him and the girl. So she should definitely, lady, you should definitely have a conversation with the uncle too and let him know how you feel about the nephew. Um, thank you, sisters. Thank you so much. Um, it was nice having this um, conversation with all, um, all of you. And also, I'm sure those who sent their letters, you know, are watching. And if you're watching, please note everything the sisters have said and try to deal with it. But let's take a quick break. And when I come back, I will be sharing my final thoughts. All right. Welcome back. This is Sister Sister and we have been having a great conversation. We've read two letters and the sisters have, you know, shared your thoughts and your feelings about each of the letters that you sent to us. Now it's time for me to share my final thoughts on what I think about these letters. Um, the first letter, I think it should be an eye opener to everyone, especially if you are getting married. You should be thinking of getting married for the right reasons. I know a lot of times society puts pressure on us that if you reach a certain age or oh, you need to be married, you need to be married, married to marry, or you need to be married to this kind of person, you need to be married to this kind of woman, this kind of man. And at the end of the day, it's because of society's perception or because of some sudden plans that you have behind your head. It's why you're marrying the person. And really it's not about just true love. <sighs> As we both, I mean, as we all saw, or as we both um, all heard everything that the lady said, their love was fizzling out, but they didn't do anything about it. And she started visiting, you know, on, on dating apps. And on the dating apps, she met someone that excited her, which led to a date, only to find out that it was her husband. The only thing I have to say to you is, um, what has happened has happened and I think you need to talk it through with your husband I don't know what the outcome may be but this is not the time to sweep it under the carpet you really need to sit down and have a conversation with your husband and if it doesn't work or if you don't come to an agreement it's time for you to probably see a, a therapy or seek couple therapy I think that will help and here in, in, in Africa, we really don't see that as important, but it is very important to seek therapy. And when I mean therapy, I am not talking about you visiting your church and then you say, I'm talking to the pastor. Because sometimes it doesn't go the right way. Sometimes all the blame is put on one person. And we all know who the blame will be put on, on the woman. Do you understand? So it's very important that we seek um, therapy in situations like this and like the sister said earlier while having this conversation be ready to table out your needs your wants what you expect from the relationship maybe you people didn't talk about all this maybe there's a freaky side that you both have but no one ever talked about it because maybe oh our families are very good people we are from a Christian home so we can't do all these freaky things but it was freaking you on the app and you're enjoying it and maybe you have never told your husband about it but that's why it's important to you know table matters and have a very mature communication or seek therapy but when it comes to the second letter like the sisters have said I'm going to agree with them on this it's important that you have a very transparent um, talk with your fiance you have dated the husband you didn't i mean you have dated the uncle you didn't state if this uncle is married or not because if he's not if he wasn't married i really don't have a problem with it even though he's his uncle he's because he's a man but if he was married then let's have a conversation and tell him baby this is what happened like sicho said you should be empathetic you should be discerning you should have a bit of emotional intelligence to convey your message unless hey you could spoil everything with your own hand so and on that note also you should also be ready for what's going to happen it can go south it can go north but please just be ready for whatever happens all right and like i said it can go anyhow but life still goes on so that's it 
Well, anyway, thank you to each and every one of you for sending in your letters for us to read out here. I mean, it's not very easy to send out your problems, but you have um, sent your letters. And if you're wondering how you can send your letter, all you need to do is send your letter to um, sister, sister is live at gmail.com. And we might be reading out your letter in the next episode. Remember that this show is brought to you by Gino for your favorite stews, sauces, gravies, and your delicious food. Gino truly cares. And that is why it's always the best to have in your food. Um, my name is Chris Carter, and this has been Sister, Sister. See you next week right here at the same time. Bye.